Hello, and thank you for tuning in to this uh, proof of concept video. So what's the concept? The concept is to take an air gun designs auto mag and turn it into a mag fed paintball gun. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, you need a magazine ideally loaded bottom vertically. We have this, this trigger here you can see where the problem arises. So in order for this to work, it will be necessary to move this grip frame back well, about an inch and a half to two inches onto the rail to make room for a magwell and magazine to load paintballs up into the breech. So I have this. This is a very rough prototype. There's no magwell on this gun, but the frame has been moved back. Now, a question was brought up, you know, what am I going to do about the relocation of the uh, thumb screw? And the trigger. Well, we got a thumb screw right here. And I gotta tell you, it fits in there almost perfectly. There's a little bit of difference in distance that it has to cover in order to thread into the valve up this way. You can see the difference there, but it works. As you can see, it's holding this valve and everything else together on this gun. There's no modifications that are even needed to insert this thumb screw inside this frame. So that's nice. Now what about the trigger? Well, you see this little square here, little brass thing? That's the elbow of the sear. And if I apply pressure to that, it shoots. This gun is actually pressurized and it's firing. So let's see if it fires at a proper velocity. Two eighty nine. So this works. Now, of course, I'm going to need more than, the, than this little nub in my final product. Maybe uh, find some way to fasten a screw to the sear, but this works. So now I'm also going to be cutting off the rail, just chopping it off completely in order to make room for the magwell. A die dam mag needs to be sitting flush against the bottom of this main body over here. This puts too much distance between the mag and the breech. So this rail, this section of rail right here has got to go. This will be cut off. There's a problem. This bolt here, this 1032 bolt, is what's holding this rail onto this main body. So what do I do? I need to have instru or structural integrity to use something like this in a game. So one idea is to drill through the rail diagonally, like so. Maybe put a couple on each side. I can't go directly under because the sear runs along here. It's in the way. So I got to go to the side and then drill and tap the main body. I have one hole drilled for a different pro uh, project. Drilled it, tapped it. It held on a stock class feed block just fine. Stainless steel is very strong. I'm confident that even though this main body is just a thin uh, tubing, that this will, will, be, will be sufficient. Now what about the bolt tips that protrude inside 
the inner diameter of the main body. That's going to interfere with this. Well, I can grind those to just the right lengths and keep them out of the way of the valve. So the valve is aligned perfectly without any, any sort of obstructions while still maintaining a good grip between the rail and the main body. This is going to be very important. I'm probably going to put some sort of a foregrip on here so this cannot be wobbly. This needs to be able to take a fall. Um, so perhaps multiple screws will be necessary in order to hold this on sufficiently. It's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. So, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching the video and have a good day.